We got a minute, here's why. You don't need a telescope or any fancy equipment to catch a glimpse of the moon tonight. In fact, it'll be hard to miss this month's super moon. But what's so super about it? A moon is considered a super moon when the full moon occurs close to the same time as perigee, its closest point to Earth during its elliptical orbit. This will be the second consecutive super moon with the last one occurring back on March 9th. This supermoon, or the pink supermoon, is the better of the two supermoons this year. It will be closer than the one in March, making it appear a little larger. Now, the April full moon is known by a few different names, including the grass moon, the egg moon, and most popularly, the pink moon. Although, don't expect any shades of pink in the sky tonight. The name comes from the pink wildflowers called the creeping flocks, which bloom in early spring, often around the same time as the April full moon. Tuesday's supermoon will be visible through the night and into the early hours on Wednesday morning. But if you want to catch our closest celestial neighbor in all its glory, you'll want to head outside around 1035 this evening. That's when the moon will be at its fullest. So here's the interesting thing. Uh, supermoon is not a technical term, so there's actually not a technical definition for what a supermoon is. There's a lot of different definitions, a lot of different agencies have different um, criteria that they have for what a supermoon is. But at this point, if you were to go with the most common agreement is that there's gonna be four supermoons in 2020. This one being the second one, the next one coming up in May.